Basta. Welcome to the first ever remote offstage hack. Oh, ngay. Kakaiba yung background natin yun. Yes. We are at Flossom Kitchen. Maraming salamat actually sa Flossom kasi sobrang sarap nung lunch natin. Anong exact address nito? <clears throat> uh, this can be found on N. Avelilla Street, San Juan. Mm-hmm. So, malapit siya sa Rustans, sa may uh, P. Guevara. Tapos, etong episode natin is the part two of our interview with our good friend, Diego Castillo. Yay! Yay! Hey, Diego! Hi, guys! Thanks for having me again. Ganda dito. <laughs> sarap ng lunch. Sarap ng lunch, sarap ng ambiance. Dito na ako muna. Pagtapos ng show, tatambay lang ako dito. <laughs> Darren, uh, anong, let's start. Yung, uh, you, I think we last, ano, no, ended sa, ended with, sa, with about, <laughs> with about uh, the Diego. Mostly about the DJs. Yes, about DJs. About DJing, DJs. records. So, siguro tanongin naman natin ngayon, uh, how, how, how did you get into playing the guitar naman? Uh, yung una kong experience playing guitar, kasi yung kapatid ko, si Carlos, my, my older brother, used to be in a band called Three Point Landing, 3PL, kasama nila Heli Umali. Parang kasabay ng mga betrayed, mga... What year was this? This was 84, 85. Ano naman sila, yung mga stones na parang pinapunk, pinapunkify nila. So, yun yung una niyang, uh, yun yung una kong parang nakita ang tao may gitara. May tao may gitara. Tapos, uh, after that, naging member siya ng Advent Call. Advent Call with si na Carl Roy. Sir Carl, so si Carl na yun. Oh, si Carl na. In fact, si, eh, si Vince, si, una si Vince Garay, yung una nilang singer. The guitar, uh, wait. Vince Garay, pala si Vince, para gitarista rin. Dito dalawa ni Vince no, Garay. No, si Rujen. Rujen. Si Rujen yung una. So, that, yung last stop ng utol ko, who's actually a member of Intro Voice. Oh. If you buy the Ten of Another Kind compilation, yung kantang lalabay, siya nagsulat nun. So, nandun yung pangalan niya sa kaya. So anyways, doon ako na una nag... Uh, so he was before Ira or during Ira? Before. Before. Before Ira. Wow. So yun. Yun ang... Ano nang... Uh, then, sabi ko, oh, pwede pala mag So my brother was the guy who first taught me how to play. Yung chords lang. Tapos ang Christmas gift sa akin ng airpods ko, ano, Raon Strat. Nakakala ko, totoong Strat. <laughs> yun ang first guitar ko. Ang ganda. Tapos... Yeah, yung mga ano, ganda. Ganda yung mga, yun, doon na. Doon na ako nag-start. Ano yung, ano yung genre na pinapakinggan mo nung time na yun? And uh, did you try to play it with the, magandang tanong yan. cover ka? Ang una kong kanta na tutunan, should I stay or should I go? Ah, the Kasi clash. Kasi two, two, two chords eh. Two chords ka ba yun, diba? Three, three. Three, <laughs> three intro. Pagkakuha mo na, di, 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 G, 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 oh, yeah. G. So, nung nagawa ko na yun, parang, ah! Tinuro din sa iyo. Oh, Tinuro sa iyo, Carlos. Ni Carlos. Ito, ito yung una. Ito yung muna yung, ito, ito yung, ito yung, ito yung tugin mo. Ito na. Tapos from then on, yun na. Yun na. Doon ako una nagkaroon ng... That's how I got into guitar playing. I mean, in a nutshell. I didn't even go to an acoustic guitar. Kasi sa, sa airpads ko, sabi ko, pa, bilhin mo na ako na electric. Sige. Kasi na, may nakuha na ako na electric for uh, I think my 14th birthday. Tapos, oh, sorry, 14th. 14 years old Christmas, tas yun na. So your first guitar is an electric. As an electric, I never had an acoustic till much, much later, believe it or not. What no. was the first guitar? Y- yun nga, yung... Uh, first, first, first no, electric. no, no, the first electric. My first ra- electric was, I think my dad went to, uh, ma- para yung mga Strat na copy. Strat copy na maganda. Na maganda naman. Yung may Fender na logo, pero alam mo, hindi <laughs> yan. But it's good, it's good. That was my favorite, favorite guitar. Na ano lang yun eh, na, na, na ano lang, Somebody stole that guitar, ah. but, but that was that was it. And then that's how I know. In fact, uh, all my gear. Then my next guitar, uh, my mom bought me. Naman ano? Si, talo si Mang Rudy from the yeah. old RJ. The RJ, si yeah, yeah. It was a Mang Rudy souped up RJ rocker, which I used till agamulak experience. That was my guitar. That was the guitar I used uh, for a long time. Did you have bands in high school? No. Because I was uh, I was never that good at the play. <laughs> my my classmate in high school is Totop Suzara. Mm. Si Top. Si wow. Top. 
Eh, of the band uh, uh, freestyle. 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 freestyle 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 tapos shredder siya ng time na yon what oh. super galing niya mag shred <laughs> yung mga mga ano uh, Van Halen kaya niya Metallica tapos si Eric Johnson Eric Johnson eh nag-aaral pala ako so parang oh man so hindi ka makapasok na sa mga eksena na yon it wasn't until I was in college that I really get into uh, you know really with the with the band band How long after nung ano, Aga Mulak experience? Tapos nagka-Planet Garapata? This, Planet GC Raves yun. Ah. Ang Aga Mulak, ang Aga Mulak, yun ay talaga yung first real band ko. Siguro I was like 16, 16 or 17. Uh, na-meet ko, sa college ko na, na-meet ko si Mike Dizon. Mm. Nakalasi kami. S- same school. Same school. Sa San, San Beda. Beda. Tapos nung freshman orientation namin, kasi nag-graduate ako ng high school just 15 years old. So parang kaka- that's still new. So ang unang-una ko na playing, ito, magandang story. The first time I actually played to an audience was at a basketball court sa mga basketball things. Mga laki sa layaw. That same year, naging freshman ako sa, sa San Beda. Sabi ni Mike, tayo rin tututog sa freshman orientation. So tutog kami ng mga class, mga laki sa, ano na rin, uh, Juan de la Cruz type. And then that same summer, Mike Dizon, me, uh, Alvin of who eventually became Screwheads. Uh, ako na po yung bass Ano na yun yun? Dinosaur Jimmy, ano na grunge na. Papunta na kami dun sa mga sound garden na yung kinocover. And then maybe six months later, Agamulak Experience was born. Or a year later, and that was, that was it. That but, hindi, but hindi si Mike sa Agamulak agad. I know he eventually became the drummer. Then, pero then, the reason that Agamulak Experience got formed was because si Totti Dalmasyon, also heard Myrene's Not Radio which we've talked about last uh, week, last week. Last oh. so he and he wanted to do a show as well so first guest muna siya again ni Myrene nagplay siya ng mga records yung kaganda mga Britpop and all these things and then eventually he had his own radio show na Groove Nation Sessions in NU in NU and because of that sabi niya the drum shucks yun ang bumo ng band eh. so sabi niya nung bibase ako sabi ko marunong ako magitara and that was <laughs> that was the beginning that was the beginning Mario uh, our crazy singer uh, Mario Alipio aka Mario Mulak was a fan of uh, both Not Radio and Groove Nation Sessions went to NU said I can sing ano yung amboy eh Bakasyonista lang siya eh. Bakasyonista lang talaga siya. And, and pag, pag went to NU, paano went to NU? Ito si Hinanap. Visit ko eh. Kasi wala pang internet eh. Tatawag, or di tatawag ka. Or dadalaw ka lang. So pagdating mo doon, parang gusto kong, ito, pwede ka pumasok doon. Tatanong ng guard sa DJ, may bisita ka dito. Si Aga Mulak. <laughs> <Or> whatever. <laughs> Tapos sabihin mo, ay di, paalisin mo yan. Or whatever. So papasok sila. That's, that was it. That was how we were all. And at that which, point, which NU was this? This is at Strata. Ah, so you can see Sortigas. You can see the the guest from the DJ booth. No, that's that's uh, that's 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 in ano na AIC Gold na tayo na. Eh. Yung Strata was the original one, yung mm. second floor. Yeah, but di ba may window doon? Ah, pero na kin- kin- ah, naka-close close yun. yun. Naka-close yun, naka-close yun. That's, so mas private oh, pa rin. Oh, sisilipin mo nga, sino kilala mo ba 'yan? Sasabihin ng guard. So marami mo bibisita, may mga strange people who bibisita. Lalo na show ni Maps kasi mas ano, eh. mas yun yung ano, crowd. Ah, uh, people that we bike with sila Vez uh, or sila that we G. bike need now no? uh, now, uh, now yung sila mga not radio religious listeners yun those were the same people who would eventually go to Club Dread and watch Mulak and obviously watch Heads and all that parang alternative indie underground scene naalala ko parang iconic yata yung not radio na cow na cow hindi yung, yung ad, ad nila yun na, yung may parang Pero, nagtatabo na oh, yun. Yun, yun ang mga ano magaling si Maps dun sa ano pinroduce niya sikat, sikat na sikat yung ano na yun tell us about uh, kayo ni Mike because you spent a lot of uh, hanging out in college carpool ba yan carpool How, outside tell us about the shows that you went to okay ganda to So, nanod kami ni Mike, uh, fans kami ng The Youth. So, nung time na yon, meron, uh, a, a beer company was making a battle of the bands. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, And yeah. And The Youth who were... Did they in, win? They didn't even win first place at the second place lang ata sila eh. Kasi... Oh my God, is that where Sina Sancho won? Sina Sancho won. Sina Sancho won. Aftermath won. Aftermath won. So, the story is, It's, it's illegal kasi for you to be a professional band in this mm, band yeah, of the bands. Yeah. But the youth were already a professional band. <laughs> They're playing Dread. They're right. playing Dread. They're getting paid. So they okay, call okay. themselves The Wool. 
and then they join sa may pera. So Mike and I were like, oh, kilala natin yan. So we were used to follow them. We went to Mapuo, we went to San Beda, we would watch So them. School Battle of the Bands to, School diba? Battle of the Bands. Tapos, urig yung mga kinakanta nila. Ano na? Anong gagawin mo? Yung, yung, yung mga takbo. Yung set na nila. Set na nila kasi a veteran band na sila. Well, at least they've been playing Dread for, for a year already. So we'd watch that. We'd watch. We'd go to, we'd see you guys at, uh, I saw you guys at Dread with Mike. Uh, one of the early Red Timo pa yon. Red Timo one of the early early things. Saan nga yung banda ni Andy? Yung naka yung police police uh, ayan na. Ascals. Ascals. <laughs> Nanood kami ni Mike ng Ascals. Tapos apat lang kami nandoon sa audience. Wow. Tapos para naalala ko totoo 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 para grabe sino to ba? Club Dread to. Club Dread Timo. Club Dread Timo. Tapos yun yun ang mga yun yung early ang goal dati makatungtong sa Club Dread. I used to see heads. I don't know if Rames is gonna say this because if I made it up, you used to do a uh, two princess, na parang sloppy sort of tongue in cheek version. Yeah, yeah the, the oh. grunge, the grunge grunged br- out. Oh, nang nang heads. You know, because this was the time na putok na yung everybody wanted to play that oh, song. Oh, so I would see that, and then yeah, that's what uh, Mike was a huge influence on. Uh, jing, uh, no. Uh, Okay, uh, what's his name? Yung nag-manage siya kanila. Uh, Richard Tan? The late Richard Tan. So, we would watch, kay Richard would be The Youth, tama ba? Parokya, which is still not yet parokya. Basta The Youth ang hawak niya. House of Beth. The Goth Band? The Goth Band. Yan oh. ang mga pinaparoon namin. While, Sina Alan ba yan? S- hindi. Iba hindi pa. Yun. Iba pa. Iba pa. Wala pa sila Alan. Wala pa aspirin Wala pa ba? Wala pa aspirin nun. Oo. Tapos yung, ako naman, fan ako ng mga Jing bands. Na, Jing Garcia uh, uh, and Dodong the late Dodong na, Dodong uh, Viray, Viray. Na, Dodong so, Cruz Dodong naman, Viray Tame, Tame the Tick Balang Color It Red sila Ron Ruiz uh, Feet Like Fins Feet Like Fins and then Feet Like kay ano kay Chard kay Chard yun pala dun kami kay Chard, muna, oh. no? so yun yung yun yung mga ano, yung pinapanood namin ni Mike and then we would take those influences Mike would go on to be super successful <laughs> wait why weren't you in teeth because Be- when I met Mike Teeth was already in place. Mm. So teeth. college pa lang kayo may teeth na. Ah, uh, ang pangalan nila Rip Shift, tapos naging teeth. Rip Shift. <laughs> <laughs> so ang pangalan ng teeth, Rip Shift. Ah. Ang singer nila hindi pa si Glenn. Okay. Ang singer nila si uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, shucks, ka. Basta basta iba pa yung uh, si Jerome nandun na. Si Peds nandun na. Ah, uh, tapos si Mike nandun na. And then Si Glenn, naparod nila Mike sa isang party. Uh, uh, I forget his name of his band. Basta, kukover sila ng, What's going on? <laughs> Tapos, nagugupit siya ng t-shirt niya. Oh, siya. <laughs> Tapos, yung what's going on, magiging punk. Pwede din sa punk part, Pupuli, they just mahuhubad. So sila, wow, wow ang galing. Oh, so, actually, yun na yung naging singer. Tapos, naging teeth na sila. Yun Art na yung, sobra na. Yun na yung, ano, yun na yung, So that's why I wasn't there. And uh, I also won't lie, I wasn't, that good enough. I had only been start, you know, chords, chords lang alam ko eh. So sila Jerome taught me how to play guitar then. So, yun. Tapos ultimately naman, up to nung nagsastart na kayo sa sandwich, how did you, could, could you tell us uh, yung journey naman so, sa sandwich? Okay, so, so, was it, uh, after Agamulak, sandwich na, right? Oh, vale. That's a quick ascent of Castillo. <laughs> <laughs> So, the, the yung, ako yung pinaka hindi marunong talaga mag, kasi lahat na napapanood kong banda, galing mag Si Jerome, galing mag-gitara. Woo, sobrang galing. So, ako parang, lalo aga bulak, si Mayri naman ang bahista, ako lang yung nag guitar tapos naging, yung friend namin si Lexi, na totoo lang was just playing chords. So, sabi ko, mag- ano lang, ang natutunan ko yung style na I still use with sandwich today which is the three note samba it's all open strings it's taken from here comes your man tang 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 so everything that i've done from bibigay ko din secret that's true from procras to it's all sort of that same mindset it's true it's sort of like i got that 
Single, single note, single, single note, single, single note. So, hindi na ako natuto ng mga ano. And because Raymond always tell me, gawin mo yan eh. Gusto mo yan eh. Tsaka ano eh. So, yun na yun. So, doon na, doon na yung aga mulak, doon na napunta. From there, ganun lang ako mag-gitara. Tapos, ayun na. Ang sandwich ba yung paano pumunta sa sandwich? Uh, we had, ag mulak eventually, I'd like to think, had some sort of a following. Only because yung singer namin, si Raulo. <laughs> Tumatalon sa audience. <laughs> May dalang palangga na minsan nang hahampas. Tapos, ang gimmick namin, nagpapagulpi siya. Tatadyakan ko siya. Nababan kami sa ano. Nag, siya yung unang mga ano. Tapos, dahil galing siyang Washington, sorry, galing siyang Washington, D.C. So, Discord Fugazi. kid. Fugazi talaga. So, noong time na yun, hindi pa namin siya alam. Ginaya lahat ng moves. Nakasabit ng baliktad sa sa roof. Pumapasok sa loob ng kick drum. Tapos, ay, grabe. Until much later na discover ko na Wow, lahat pala nito, yung moves niya, parang ginaya niya. Well, at that time, sa Pinas, parang grabe. So, parang sikat-sikat siya. Eventually, we opened, uh, played, well, we opened for the Heads once, and also once for Planet G, which is Raymond's other band. And that's when, you know, nag-uusap kami nila, Raymond's and everything. Then I go to BMG Records, working for the Heads, and then Raymond said, like, oh, tayo-tayong band, ah. Kunin natin si Mike D. At this point, Totti had left for the States, and Mike, kasi syempre si Mike yun eh. Mike mm. came in. Mm. Ah, nag-state si Totti. Eh, gusto pa namin ito mag-tug. <laughs> As agamulak. Oo, oh, syempre. Eh, parang eh, teenager pa lang eh. Parang sayang naman. Parang ayos so, si Mike na. Si Mike yung kinuha. Tapos, parang ganda ng gigs niyo. Gusto ko mapanood. <laughs> galing ni Mike. Ito. And then, this is no, to know ano naman for for Totti. Totti is a genius in what he does. But, and he would be the first to agree Mike's a better drummer <laughs> because that's Mike D. So he's one of the best. So, ginawa namin, yung recording namin na live, kasi wala naman kaming studio. Re-record, tapos pinahinga ni Mike. As in, pasada. Tahinga niya, oh, game. Tapos magre-rehearse na. So, I go, honey pa. Nanood siya live. Kaya ko to. Tapos nag-drums na, na. <laughs> Nasira yung ulo ni Mario Mulak. Yung sir. Kasi, sinabi ni Mario, kick the shit out of that drum. Sabi, mga puta. Sabi, Okay, so lahat ng intro, bubu ba bu bu para dahil doon na transform na siya. <laughs> Tapos wasak na, wasak na yung stage as yun na. Yun na, yun na, yun na yung na crazy eyes na siya, parang kitikiti. Tapos <laughs> nasa nasa ni nasa love ni, na love ni ni Mario si Mike kasi ano eh. Pag sinabi niya kick it, kick it, sasabi niya kick it. Kampasin <laughs> ni ni Mike bu ba bu bu. Wala, las ang inga yun. <laughs> so Ayun, yun na yun na yung ano. Uh, after that, when I was with BMG, wala, nang, wala na yung Mulaks kasi si Mario left na for the States. Of course, you cannot replace him. Parang wala, wala na. Uh, I was with Raymond and Raymond said like, oh, kunin natin si Mike. Di ba kasi may rin yung rhythm section which is the greatest move. Because that turned out to be, in, for my book, kahit nakabaan ako sa, the greatest rhythm section out there. So, ayun na. Tapos nasama na ako dun. And then, The uh, Rames found Mark Abaya in a party. Yeah, but tell the story when it's like, hey, Dex, I found a singer. What's <laughs> <laughs> an, an story done? That's a good, that's a good, you, the real story, huh? your we real impression. Yes, story. because this is the truth. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? I didn't know this. But okay, okay. Because. I found, wait, I found Mark in Maria Mo, Derek Maria Mora's birthday party. Yes, you did. We were jamming. We were, And I, I got along. Mong was there already. I didn't know. I didn't, me- I didn't meet Mong. Na, ano, Mong was at that party. I didn't meet Mong. I, I, I don't remember meeting Mong, but I remember jamming like 30 minutes with Mark, not talking to him, but like, oh, there's a connection. Like, oh. We play well together. It's like, oh, and I asked for his demos, and then I sent Kinsina Diego, and then cut to Diego and Mike. So, 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 because remember, this is the height of, but you're building yung tunog ng banda, parang indie rock. I mean, yung parang yung, and then we couldn't really play. Well, at least ako, hindi. Tapos, you have somebody na super, si Mark, ano yun, God-given talent of guitar playing. Pero and yung, singing. And singing. And yung pocket niya, yung funk niya. Thing is, yung leanings niya, talagang may classic rock. So, nung, nung una, actually, nung una na nag-practice to, sa bahay ni Mike. Dati na rin na si Mike. The first ever. Oh, and then we have all, we have the de- the, the original songs. Some leftover. Ano yung original songs niya at the time? We had, 
Butterfly already was ano there. Ano Butterfly? Was that, it was on the first day. Uh, butterfly it, Carnival. Because that's an old riff that I wanted to do for Agamula. So, ikaw gumawa nung yung, riff? Yung, yung, yung riff. Pero di na gani ano ng ano. Kasi boring na yun. The whammy. And he had a whammy. He had the whammy. Wala akong ganun. Pero, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, cheese factor mm. was already there, which is which is. Yun wrong. yung favorite song ko pala, by which the way. Which is sandwich. Also <laughs> the beauty of sandwich, because yung drum na 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 that's Mark. Pero yung mga jeh, the jeh, the the jeh. Kamo na nire mo yung kasi ano yun eh? Pangkrak yun eh. So na mold. Anyways, nung kumanta na si ano the sexy parang ano yung mga. Chaka galing kasi maganda. Stuck on the side si Mike nung pagubi na. Pucha, kaya ba natin na may ganyan? <laughs> Kasi parang sexy na gano'n eh. Well, at the first, parang the idea was that it's not gonna work. Uh, obviously, just to be on the... Just keeping it real. It wasn't gonna work because... It was just far... It's too, too different. Too different. It is nothing about the talent. And the talk, you know, galing. So mm. galing, mm. diba? Tas, pero yun nga. Not your vision at the time. Not, not, not our vision at the time. Kasi coming from a person like... Mario Mulak, that's what we all wanted. Somebody who would be like, I know. And, uh, and, you know, it was just different. It was just different. And I remember Mike para thinking, they okay na yung parang Eddie a- Vader. Because <laughs> may mannerism si, si Mark. Very, very galing. Nasa kanya yun eh. Pero syempre, mag- kung tignan mo tayo on paper, iba eh. <laughs> Pero ano. But, it worked. And I like to think so. Yun talaga yung ano. Yun nga yung ano. Yung, di mo rin masasabi pag nagsama-sama na eh. Maganda naman kay Mark because he was younger. He allowed us also to, well, that's a choice. <laughs> he allowed us to, I'm sure there are probably some parts that, ayoko na ganun parang pangkrak. <laughs> Pero, it worked. It worked. And that's, the rest is, his deray. Na-feel mo ba na, like, nag-iba yung play style mo once Mark left? Kasi parang, Good I push. think, lumabas yung sugod, right? And then, parang, I don't know. For me, it kind of did. But for you, would you say na it did? The my playing style. Yeah. I think so. I think, I think. Uh, uh, I've always been. Ako kasi, and not because Raymond's here. Like I've learned the idea of what I do only because Raymond told me that uh, what I do is something that okay. Kasi meron akong meron akong meron akong ano kasi growing up parang meron akong and it's not because Raymond's here, but it's the truth. Meron akong stigma na parang hindi magwo-work tong mga to, down down mga ganito ko, parang puta baduy ata to. Pero nararamdaman ko, I'm not supposed to gawin mo 'yan. So, nung na embody ko na na ano 'yon, pati sa playing lumabas na kasi sasabihin ni Raymond na alanganin, hindi mo masyadong ano. So, the confidence to be able to play the way you play is the secret for what I do. So, I guess na nawala si Mark, nagkaroon din ako ng nuance na parang ko how I would imagine myself playing it. Ano sa make any sense? Parang, you know, hindi ko naman magagawa yung funky stuff. No, can, nobody can do Mark. Oh, nobody can do Mark. Hindi ko, whatever, even if I know, nobody can do Mark, that's the truth. So that's, that's, that's how my playing evolved. And I got better. I'd like to think so. Gumaling na ako. Gumaling na ako nung gumaling. May mga weird tendencies. Hindi ko alam yung name. Eh. Meron akong magandang story. Meron kaming kanta na, ano yung Jan, 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 It's an odd, yeah. See, see, at least I don't even know. So that's my riff. Sabi ni Riff, Honip, gumawa ko ng odd time. So ako parang, ano kaya yung odd time? Pero di ko alam. Ganun ako ka. But then Riff just allowed me, like, just do whatever it is that you feel like doing. And then we'll take, it'll be nice. So hindi ko na iniisip yung mental aspect na, ano ba yung, sila nila Mike ang magaling doon. Ako, basta ito Riff, ito yung, ano, sabi niya, oh, maganda yan, pwede yan. Ito yung parang weird. Hindi ko alam yung chord, mali eh. Parang funky. So yun na, yun na yung playing ko. Nung na-free up ako ng pressure na yun, dami ko na nagagawa. You know? May sense ba yun? May yeah, sense? yeah, si Diego has always started a lot of the sandwich uh, yeah. riffs and ideas. I've, I've heard What that is also. your mindset? Because ikaw yung pinakamaraming sinisend sa band eh. Because we send each other emails up to now. Then you s- you'd send cassettes. Oh. Now we send emails. And then you always had a bucket of riffs and you always play almost daily I see in post in Instagram uh, DJ yeah. and playing yeah. day. what is your what is your philosophy I've never asked you this what is your philosophy why do you do it why, I, where is it coming from I think everything that we play masarap it's gonna sound very cliche but masarap tugtugin eh because you're gonna bring this hopefully to an audience of either one or a thousand and I have to be able to do it na parang pag ginawa ko masaya so 
Two Trick is an example of a song that to this day I still like playing. Or Procrast is a song that I still like. Is it hard? Hells no! I can teach anybody off the street to play it in, in 10 minutes. But there's something to it. Then the, the, the idea na parang masarap to. Infectious may, siya. Mayroon little things. Or pag nag-chords, chords ka, parang pag tinugtog natin or na-imagine ko pag pinaluan to ni Mike tapos nila ganyan ni Raymond ng parang ano. There's just, there's just, I think I'm always thinking the context of the band. As opposed to something that I do yung mga pretty stuff na parang yung I put, put out on on my own end, parang hindi ata babaga ito sa, sa sandwich. Parang, tsaka, I mean, mo, sometimes you can be selfish na, gusto ko ako rin yung rhythm, gusto ko ako rin mag-lead, gusto ko ako rin maglalagay ng parang nuances. Because then, it's a democ for our band, it's a democracy. I can't tell, well, you can, like Raymond says, if you really love it that much, of course, you present it. But I try not to do it that way. Because the chances are, you won't really want to perform it. Because I gave everything, eh. Parang ganun, eh, ba? So, but, when pag dumating na sa akin yung riff, it's like 95% there already. Does it, before you record it, does it start that way? It's like, oh, this sounds nice. Or do you labor like two minutes or two hours or two days? How, how long does it... Maganda to. I've never known. Maganda to. Pag dating sa akin, ito na. Ito na. Ayos na eh. Okay, maganda to. This is gonna sound weird. For example, Outlaw. Outlaw. All of that took, honestly, five minutes to do. Everything else. Yung no goodbye sa'yo rin ba nang galing yun? Uh, a variation of it? Yes, yes, the original. the original. Five minutes to do. <laughs> Everything kasi, I think to answer, because it's not hard. Tama si Rayo, so ganun yung tanong niya. Ngayon ko lang na-realize, kasi masarap tugtugin eh. Pag parang masarap, ito na yun, ito na yun, ito na yun. Hindi ko nalili. Wala akong... Kasi mahuhulin ni Rims, pinilit mo na may para ka ano dito, no? Kring! May something. Kasi kanyari parang ganito, tapos parang lalagyan ko ng mga whatever weird... And I know it because you can't uh, play it. When you play it, you can't move. Uh, uh, your uh, only your fingers are moving. Uh, and your mind is thinking, uh, uh, but your body uh, yun, is not yun, moving. Yun, 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 yun. No, huli Rims, parang hindi ko magagawa. Hindi siya, ano, pag yung masarap, masarap. Tsaka kahit yung takes, alam ko eh. Ah, buta, panis to one take to kasi nasa DNA ko pero pag pinipilit-pilit mo na para kulig ako kaya na parang ganito ganito dito hindi siya nag-work maybe that's it really five minutes five minutes yeah, really kasi kasi it starts like this with an acoustic guitar everything starts for at least for me or an unplugged electric kaganong ganong kalas parang oh, ano to tapos sinupuan mo na parang maganda yun ah. maganda yun ito nga yung uh, what's our song na tang nang 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 time lapse ayan I play it because sa iPhone yun eh. iPhone na ano lang, yung parang, oh, ito na yun. Parang okay ito. Ito nga eh, ang role ko palagi. Ano, tingin mo dito, parang okay ito. Gagawin na natin, maganda yan. He sees the end product before I do. Parang, I think I like it. And then he just sends it to me. May, may vocals. Oh, ganda. But, you know, masaya. So I don't really try to labor too much about that. That's why there's no... And what's our most complex song? <laughs> our most complex songs are the songs that we don't play live. <laughs> See? There's the answer. <laughs> that and there's the answer. Because I think we're really aged. We're parang yung, when you see us play, parang yun, yun, yung pag may ganun eh, diba? Yung hindi humihinga, nakikita mo, ibig sabihin, either masyado madami to, inaaral, nakikita mo, nag-freeze yung brain ko. Ganun, iso, ano nga ba yung chorus chord? Sabit. Myrin, same thing. Ano nga ba yung chorus chord? Puti lang yung sahin, nako, sasabit to. Sure enough, kasi, hindi ka, so hindi, it, hindi siya, ano. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, parang, yeah, yeah. Parang ganun. So, pag pinakawala mo lang ako na ano, madali lang yung mga, yun. So, talking about sa uh, sandwich, ano yung, what would you say, yung favorite na, I guess, song that you've written? Or inspired to, to be written? Uh, or kahit means most to you? Para well, ano. ako, I still, I find, I find, ano, Two Trick Pony to be one of those, uh, one of those songs that uh, I, even though so good, of course, and all that, but, but meaning we were at the point in our career where we thought Butterfly and then Butterfly and then Wala na coming, we got dropped by the label and I, we didn't think that. But that album is very special. Like, Thanks to the Moon is something that I also did the, the ninth chord, which eventually I milked to death. It's a, it's a you know, that the, I know. But I think it was two trick pony na na sense ko na pa. Oh, this is something different because it's a dancier, more you know, track and 
to this day, I still enjoy playing it. And it reminds me of the point na we were we made it kind of okay in the beginning. Marami ng accolades, marami mga rock awards, and mga ito. Tapos parang, oops, label doesn't want you. They're looking for ver- vertical horizon. You know, the <laughs> yeah! yeah label we got dropped! Talaga, yeah, talaga. told us, like, can you Digital play? Yeah, well. They told us, like, can you can you play vertical horizon? I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> Those are the same demos, huh? That they already heard two trick. They already heard. They have the whole album Basilungan. already. We recorded already the heard, whole album. They heard already the whole They had it. They had that album. They had Thanks to the Moon. Had, and the B sides of that album are really, really good. Ano nga yung grand, 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 grand. Uh, home ito? run? Is Ho- that a home, home run? run? Woo! What a song. Gaganda. They said, gusto namin ng vertical horizon. So what happened? Uh, you got signed to another label? No. We didn't. release you independently? Yeah, we did it independently. Wow. With the wow. help of a village. Like friends. Oh, with friends. With Photo with, shoot. With, with R.A. Rivera doing the photo shoot. Rex and Joyce, who are now world famous with Ink Search. That's their first ever ano, album, uh, cover. album cover. Si Tado help us for get the lo- that for, for the, the location. location. You know, everybody... Uh, Nick Spuno's house was used for the music know, video. For the music video. All uh, the girls were free. Uh, oh, oh. R- R- uh, Ramon Bautista helped set up the stuff. Those were just. See, really? we just had an idea, like had a from a jazz album, That's and right. made it made it funnier. Yung somebody was in an umbrella. Tama. Parang was it a piano in an umbrella or so. something? So, yeah. an, an umbrella in a desert. It's like, what if we put girls here? What if we put the girls in bikinis and yeah. then. And, and those are all our friends. Those are all our friends. Yeah. So that's that's why kind of when I play it today, parang ang, ang badoy rin, pero parang baka sabi badoy, pero I remember you you don't hindi fleeting kasi, parang galing ka sa ganito, tapos parang oh the drop ka na, tapos wala na. Then Mark leaving us during that time, it felt like huh. So he he's the one who left, ganun ba yung nangyari? Uh, he got busier he got so busier. like he just so, got so, so other bands. You know? No, no, he had a he, MP- he had a gig. He had MTV a gig. Ah, yeah, 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 tama. Yeah. VJ nga siya nun. So the yeah. VJ gig entails him not only recording VJ stuff in MTV, but hosting, but show, hosting, hosting shows, live shows, live shows, live shows live events, yeah, yeah. which is like real gigs, uh, more real than the club shows that we do. The paying ba? gigs, real so paying, paying gigs. gigs you know? And then he was getting ano pa, like slowly getting acting work. Acting work. Yeah. Yeah. Because his, his folks are directors. Yeah. So yeah. eventually... Yeah, so so I remember that time. So that song is one of those parang crossover that made us go. That's one of my favorite to play. I'm very... It also sounds very different in terms of like butterfly. but a party and everything. And What's your favorite sandwich song, Rims? Procrastinator. Yeah. But not that. Not me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here. Here, here. <laughs> ito, ito. Wait, wait. So eventually nga... Can I tell you a procrastinator? Oh, okay, okay, go ahead. So we we are at Raymond's apart uh, house, the old house with Apa, your, uh, with yeah, your gaming sound card. Pwede ka na ba y- That's a gaming sound card. What do you mean? Paano ang gaming? Wala pang PC. Sorry, I'm not a cast of edits. No, no, no. Hindi, hindi. Sorry, I'm just No edits to. So, so ganito. Ganda nito. Kailangan pa rin ng one song, sabi ni Raymond. One more song. So ito na. Punta ako sa bahay ni Raymond. Kalala, kalala ko eh nagprogram ka ng toots tak tak ng drums as pili ko da 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 and that white computer with a gaming sound card PC. da da PC da 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 so, alam ko ne alam ko ne ko kaya kaya buo tayo it's another of those same variations of single note three note ma- uh, stuff that I would do yeah. pero sense ko eh. so kaya clear ko pa kaya meron na bang ganito ang kanta kasi <laughs> kasi it's so easy da na pero la to this day wala alam ko rin eh sabi ko <laughs> that's a buy mo yun yun that's another yeah, that's a special song as well okay sorry well, eventually we got Mong and yeah. Mong told us a story about this but how did you end up live sharing an apartment with Mong I never knew oh. but suddenly you were in no, this okay, apartment okay, 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 and okay. Mong wasn't part of Sandwich yet no. How did ah, you get it? Matagal pa! Matagal pa! Okay, I thought we bandmates. No, no, no. I was with Mark. Eh. And they, okay. they became roommates. Oh, so, housemates. <laughs> so, si Mong, naging, naging accelerated closeness namin after I'd seen Method of Breathing. And I was Chico Sai. a big, big fan of that album. And then, I discovered that basketball si Mong. <laughs> 
ito eh, ako rin mag-basketball. So, <laughs> naging teammates na kami. Hanggang ngayon, to this day, we still... So, nag-basketball kami, nagkwentuhan kami, rival schools ang gusto namin na... Band. Meron kami mga mutual bands na gusto. Nasakyan ni Mong yung mga disco punks na binibigay ko sa kanya. Tapos na-accelerate, pumunta sa Alabang, sa Living Alabang. Tapos, sabi ko, tara, mag-roommate na tayo. Pasok siya, party, bitter pill, nagbuo kami ng banda. At this moment, Sandwich is not really exactly playing because we're still transitioning into Sans Mark, Minus Mark. May moment oh, na para naghahanap eh. So nagbuo kami ni Mong ng banda. Si and Mong was there when we were recording and writing the songs. Yeah, he's always there. He was always there. Always Even there the na. photo shoot, Mong was there. Oh, oh. So, yun na. So, doon na, daging, nag-ano na kami. Yun na yung, in fact, ang uh, walang kadala-dala, hindi <laughs> pa siya member ng Sandwich. Mm. Naririnig ni Mong yung inaaral ko yung mga songs. Kasi, parang same ano eh. Sabi ko sa kanya. Sa totoo lang. So, kinanta niya kanil, ay, ano ito si Rames oh. Tinanggal niya lahat ng mga bass line, ng lahat. Paano ko gagawin to? Huwag daw ako mag- yeah. I, wag said, daw, I said you the daw. vocal and the oh, drums. Oo, sabi ko walang... No sa- guitars, I didn't send you ah, guitars. So, burat, burat na burat ako. Paano, ano, ano, hindi ko maintindihan kung nasa nataan na ba, ano. Tapos, patatawa sa mga, sige, subukan na, tapos parang nag-single-single, parang mga, ano kasi, black party. Ah, <laughs> ganun. So, okay. Pretty Ghost Grace, ganun. Tapos, ayun na. That's why, Mong even knew the songs na, because he had heard them being made in that apartment or at least you know doing some of that and in that apartment is also where in in, in that, that time is when Mong became a member of the band because uh, wag kang tutungo nakaka uh, what's that song? Uh, uh, Calendario Calendario was written in that house Mike, with Mike. Mike you and Mike Mong wrote it and, and uh, yung music jing 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 tatlo kami nag ano so and you went there you did the you know so that was it that was the connection Then, ano yung ano yung masabi niyo na pinaka gusto niyang quality sa guitar playing ni Mong or even sa personality niya kaya niya siya ni Aya to ah, be with in sandwich. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Ako, <laughs> Either one. <laughs> ako ako nagkataon lang na yung guitar playing ni Mong is bonus yung patas yung friendship is parang ano na, na me, icing on uh, top ako, parang. To me, the real reason is that si Mong is Spock sa amin kasi he is the most level-headed guy in our band. Di na iinit ang ulo. Glues you together when you need it. Tsaka good guy. Eh. Totoo yeah. lang, even if he played wonky and sandwich, you can get basta you get away with, a get lot away of with it, the other things. Eh. You know, I'm not the, I know na nung ula lang, first two records, parang nagkita ko yung mga, ano, hindi ako marunong. Eh. Pero siguro dahil you put, he puts in, parang yung vibe niya eh. Masaya si Mong eh. So that's, that's it. Also, Much like Raymond, Mong can produce, can, uh, you know, multi-instrumentalist, marunong mag-keyboards, nakakatulong. Lalo on my end. Kasi sabihin ko sa kanya, actually dati, nung wala pa siya, kay Raymond ako magtatanong, ano tulog ng gitarang dito na pwede kong gawin? Ngayon, kay Mong now, Mong, gusto ko ganito, oh, kaya ko yan. Diba? So, sa head din. Mong, gusto ko yung parang fast. Sige, akong bahala sa'yo. You know? so, that's to me, that, that adds also to that. Tsaka bagay, bagay kami mag, parang bagay yung yin-yang namin eh. I, think, I have to say, parang bagay, ganun nga. Ganun. I bagay. think it's the, uh, like my, like Mark, he was the, almost the exact opposite of Jego and me. Parang in terms of playing, in, kahit sa ano eh, even, even when working with, with gear, he's a gear nerd. Oh. Kami ni Jego like, just make it work. Complimentary diba? talaga. Complimentary talaga. talaga. Tapos, ito pa. Ang hindi pa, which I wanted to add, oh, sir, may probably never said it. Si Mong mapagbigay siya dun sa, ano, much like the relationship with the basketball or whatever, mm. di ba? May passing. He gives me his space. <laughs> Ang ganda nung analogy na yun. Eh, totoo eh. Kasi may space eh. Kunyari, nababental black, dahil dahil tumutugtog na matagal eh. In case of fire. In case of fire. Bibigyan niya ako ng ano. Bibigyan niya ako, bibigyan ako. Parang, kahit walang usap. Space to create. Alam ko, ako to. Ako to. Sige, tirahin mo yan. Tirahin mo yan. Tapos, Much like Rames, hindi sila na, hindi na na si, si Mong na para experimenta mo. Oh. Will not tell me na, Chong, huwag ganun. Lagyan mo yes. ng ano, kahit may wrong note, ta, feeling ko gusto mo, tira mo yan. That adds so much to your own Con- personal side. Confidence then. Tuloy pagdating oh. mo doon, tangin na patay, kasi susunugin na namin Tama. kayo dahil nobody's gonna stop. Tama. That's it. Anyways, that's it. Aside from sa, we all know naman na aside from uh, sa band, 
you're also the one of the founders ng sobrang favorite ng lahat buong bayan sweet ecstasy yeah <laughs> yeah so anong anong paano niyo nagawa yon ano yung history ng sweet ex ang sweet ex kasi i came in there a bit later the the great story of of my involvement is that si monica and Al, who are the partners who, the, the first two people who are the original owners, and they're still the owners, uh, si Monica had me go over and di- much like everywhere, DJ. They did a DJ. Ah, you DJ. Then okay. I got turntable. Ko. This was in Kubao X, X. The original Sweet uh, X. When they were still milk and cookies. Bakit kaya ba Sweet X? Kasi desserts yes, lang desserts dati. Lang. Tapos, sabi ni Monica, oh, mag-unroll kami ng ano, burger. So, yeah, I was there. Oh, so the uh, DJ ako. You gotta oh, taste this. That's lagi ako naubusan. Tapos nang nakain ko yung burgers ko, putya. Seryoso tong burger na to. As in, no BS. Yung alam ko na na, ha? Ang sarap nito. Pero ano lang nila yun, on the side. And then, when the burgers were picked up, syempre may social media ka, propose ka, they asked me if I wanted to be part of it. Sabi ko, I already know that this product is going to be the winner. And we were still in Cubao. And then the rest is where we are now. In fact, my involvement, kasi dati, it was, and alam mo to, mas parang brand-centric na part ka. Hmm. Ako yung nagsasabi, parang mukha ko, may ganito. Eh ngayon, sikat na rin siya eh. Hindi oh. na kailangan. Wala na, out na. Ayaw mo rin na ma-associate ka na parang, hmm. kayo, hindi na, tagun, di ko na yan, hindi mo na. Pero to get the ball rolling, it was good to know people like, you know, Erwin Romulo and Ray was coming in. Siyempre, dati picture ako. Pero ngayon, para okay na. It's it's established itself. Pwede ka na mag-kick back and just look at the... Naalala ko dati talaga, it's uh, parang secret-secret lang secret, ng tao. Secret-secret lang talaga. Tapos ngayon, parang takot na yata yung mga ibang Meron na dito sa Green Hills. Oh, dyan lang. Oh. Ako, palagi ako nagpapagrab oh. ng sweet ex. Ito. Tapat ng bahay mo yan eh, di ba? Oo. Oh, <laughs> Dama nga, dito. <laughs> <laughs> Dama, naglalaan ka na lang eh. <laughs> I mean, okay din yung ano, Ang galing nga eh. Wala nga nagme-mention eh. Anong pangalan ng banda ko? Sandwich! Di ba? Di ba ah, meant to be? Meant to be. Uh, meant to be. Sandwich ako tapos Sweet X, di ba? There are some people who know me more as the guy from Sweet X. They, they, when we go to meetings, di nila ako kilala as Sandwich or DJ. There are some people who just know me as a DJ. And of course, there are some people who just know you as the guy who plays guitar for Sandwich. So nakakatuwa din. Parang marami kang many hats. Personas. Ka. <laughs> nakakatuwa. Okay, ito ngayon yung ano. Let's wrap it up with a connection on the part one episode in this one. What has DJing contributed to your uh, personal in personality and uh, way of thinking some music and vice versa? What does guitar playing bring to the DJ, to your DJ world? Galing. Okay, first and foremost, I realized that the 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 digging of records, the digging of records, because Everything now on on uh, Spotify and those are all great, but they're all current stuff, and everybody gets to get from that well. If it's the guitar player from here and there from around the world, and and chances are, if you are getting inspiration from the same thing at the new thing or whatever's uso, you might inadvertently sound like Tame Impala. All of these bands will sound that not because that's bad, but because they're drawing from that well. With this, with the DJing and the record collecting. If you discover where Tame Impala took all that shit from, and then you go back pa, then you sort of see like, and Raymond and I see like, oh, dito pa na kinuha yung guitar. And then you can sort of shape your own guitar playing or either your approach with music with other stuff that otherwise, hindi mo discover siguro or hindi mo maano, mga weird approach. Nakakatuwa. It shapes me personally. For example, yung No Goodbyes. That would have never been done. Uh, I don't think it would have been like in the first record. Kasi yung mga... Yung, kasi dati siguro lalagyan namin yun ng kulang, hindi pa ding tang 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 hindi pa ding ganun lang tas hindi pa ding ganun pero ngayon dahil of all the stuff it's informative no you can get a nice it's like house to ni eh, 10 minutes to sasayaw tayo maybe before because i felt like oh i need to put a uh, uh, whatever kailangan may tiki tiki or something else may ganun nga dun pero very slight lang it's informed me that the guitar doesn't have to act doesn't have to be like always with a distortion pedal, which Rames already knows. Pero ako late ako dyan. Parang hindi na ako kailangan matakot na. Kailangan may signature something ka dito? No, I just approach it to making good music na lang. And all these records inform you and you can do it. In fact, I am so, so different now that I can tell Rames, Rames, here's my idea. 
can you play it for me? Although wala pang an example, but here's what I feel like. This is how it goes. Because since you can play better, it's still a sandwich now. Even if I'm not physically even playing anything, I don't care. It's, it's that's yun na yung unit because of all these records. Soundscape, eh. Rames, nagyan mo na parang, so ganun lang. That's still your input. It still comes from stuff. Does that make sense? Yes. Does this make sense? Parang yun na yung nadadala ng lahat ng plaha kasi hindi siya genre-centric. Ayun pala. Kasi kung nagkakalika ng plaha, kung ano-ano eh. Parang may samba, may ano, oh. And then Raymond the Oster. well got bigger. Yes, the well got bigger. <laughs> and Raymond Is that the next Maganda album, the well got bigger? Oh. And Raymond Maganda always na. tell me, it doesn't mean na hindi to pwede pang atin. Who the, who the hell said na hindi pwede lagyan ng ano? Sino nagsabi na, eh gusto ko na may, may parang, may weird na klave thing na alam ko kaya ni Raymond. Even if I'm not physically, tell him, Raymond, sige mo nang parang ganito. That's still a uh, group the thing. You don't have to explain it. Pero yun yung secret ng because of record thing and how I DJ and how I we, we always ask uh, our guests what are your top five records but that's gonna take like two weeks if we talk about records what are the top five shows that you've seen Pers- I know you're the person who've seen the most shows the best shows uh, the person that I know think a little bit top five shows local or foreign any okay uh uh Wilco live Japan. in Japan. Oh my god. Mm. Excuse me. Super super galing. Uh uh Tribe Called Quest Barclays with New York. All of them with Busta Rhymes. Oh my god. Eraser Heads, Beastie Boys, Foo Fighters, Araneta. Sonic Youth, Araneta. Uh, uh, Tears for Fears with Sandwich. <laughs> Shit. That's a, good show. Mo. Sobra. That's a great Labong show. Yeah. Labong and, uh, and, uh, uh, How about Radiohead? Saya rin yun. Radiohead. Is that top five? No? Top Maybe 10. not. But because, of, because we got to sneak in, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just tell that story? Quickly, yes. Raymond and I were in the back of the st- of the Radiohead concert and then we discovered na may ballpen lang pala. Pupunta kami sa labas, nag ballpen kami and then we're up front. That's it. That's the truth. We we forged ourselves, we forged ourselves to the front row. <laughs> that, those are soul wax. Kaya nahiya ako. Hindi tayo matatapos. Soul wax, syempre. Yeah, ta- na, ko na ta- What about, ta- no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll have one for you. I wasn't even there. Prince. Wow. Th- wait, wait, wait. Will Coden <coughs> Prince. Will Coden Prince. Three hour Prince with Sheila E. Woo! In 2000, before, right before he dies. Sa- at the old LA Forum. Pare, this is like 2017, 16? This is 2016. Before he died. Like Saka, a year before he died. Maybe right? a couple of years before he died. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's a reason. I called you too. Yes. Unfortunately no, for me. Uh, uh, sobra. <laughs> sobra yan. That's... Is you two on the Sa list? Pako. DJ Shadow, Other Music, 1995. In a record bar. Other yeah. Music is a record bar, yeah, right? In yeah. New York. Oh, there's like 12. So this is 95 us. before introducing? Kakalabas na. So hindi pa siya ganun kasikat. Oh my God. Yun. Maganda. <laughs> That's a lot. I think we need to do another episode. Blur! Blur! Blur. Hong Kong! Ito ah. Oh, wait, oh, Radiohead or Blur? Blur ako, man. Dahil masaya. <laughs> Makakayuk eh. <laughs> diba? Parang, I love Radiohead. Don't get me wrong. Pero yung live show ng Blur, whoo, parang sandwich, yung inclusive. Sama kayo lahat oh, dito. Tsaka sumasabit sila. Okay lang eh. Kasali eh. Kasali okay. lahat. That's good. Maganda nga yung inclusive rin. In the future, parang. we gotta do a show with Diego and just talk about shows <laughs> kasi we've talked about guitars and oh wait before we end talk about you when we met Darren we both met Darren for the first time because Darren called the uh, superstar and inquired about hey how does Sanders think and I was like no what? local guitars no it's not I uh, know you and Mong said no let's talk to this guy maybe there's something and then how did you end up with your guitar ako favorite ko yung ito kaya nakakatawa eh the una, the una, I see the shape of our guitar, <laughs> of our day glow 
all over the place recently mm. because because you know different not just D and D but different manufacturers mm. have have you know have because it's you know the shape taken the, the have direction taken the, uh, no. that direction but why <laughs> I love it is because it is a combination of the two guitars a tele and a jazz the two guitars that mark my career as a player and as a musician the tele being the the main guitar I used for the three first three records those are the same and then the jazz which I eventually went into in the last four records so by combining both from the sound the feel and because like Raymond the truth is the look it's all in the look like, looks good. like, like <laughs> this is where Mong comes in uh, if he says because he, he's the guy who put in the, the great because I don't know Mong I want to hear you I'm so but it has to look good I've always told Raymond it can be the Ko ano pa yung gold plated ko baduy yung itsura baduy. And here's I'll tell I'll tell you why it's important. You would like to play your instrument if it looks good. That's oh, no the man. truth. At the end of the day, all we want, whether you're getting a ray gun, you're getting a digger, whatever it is that you want from the indie, what I want is the way it looks is going to inspire you to be a musician, to make music, not for it to be some sort of well, okay, then siguro yung ano pero wag to put it on the side of your ano because that's what's gonna inspire you. That's some 16-year-old kid like myself who put it on, put on his best ano, go in the mirror and pretend he's whoever he wants to be. That's the beginning. Pag meron yun, hindi nakakatawa yun kasi people make fun of that eh. Yeah. Truth is, hindi yan nakakatawa. That's gonna make you realize what you wanna do. May ganun ka eh, diba? Nagkaganun ka, may dala kang Reagan para kasi Rames kunyari. That's how it starts. Yeah. That's how I started. And then, you'd be surprised. So I guess, more than the concept of how it was ano, because of the opportunity that was given, I get to realize my dream from beginning to play. Now it's my guitar. Some kid, some kid, and I've seen it. They tag me. They're doing it. Then it's like, they tag us. Yeah, they yeah. tag us. So para, shit, you know, that was a joke for me when I was 14. But so thanks, Darren. <laughs> that's no problem. Actually, you know, naman yung sa akin din, inspiration ko kasi that's the only thing. Dati naman wala pang internet so we'd only yeah. like see it's a guitar world or hit yeah. parader. Yeah. yeah. I think no. that's a good uh, ending for this episode. Did you see the D&D website with all the day glows? That's my photo. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the colors of the rainbow. Huh? Gaganda. All okay. the day glows of the rainbow. Pare, nandiyan na yun sa bahay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, thank you. Guys. Thank, no, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. We'd like to thank Flossom, yeah, thank you, Flossom. for hosting thank the you, venue. Thank you. This oh, is a two. Ganda. This is just a two-man crew. I'm literally like pushing the video thing, and Darren's doing the audio mixing. Thank you, Diego. Thank you. We'll yeah, guest yeah, you again you, in the future. We'll talk about fatherhood. Pagluma uh, na si Elvis uh-huh. soon and shows. I think we got live local shows. Nita yung matatapusan, Rims. Nita yung tapos. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.